First look at the official build of Pixel Experience Plus Edition Stable ROM based on Android 11 running on the Redmi K20 Pro or the Xiaomi Mi 90 Pro. Hey peeps, what's up? Manchi here, back with another video. And in this video, we're going to have our first look at the features of official stable pixel experience plus edition rom based on android 11 running on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro as you can see android version is 11 security patch is from march 2021 kernel they are using is immensity kernel and build of course is the official plus edition those of you who want to learn how to install this rom on your redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro i will have a separate video for that which can be found in the description of this video next up this is how the rom comes out of the box you do have pixel launcher here it is this is how your recents look like and tap on select select working without any issues screenshot bam screenshot taken tap on share quick share menu in the building press and hold on any application and you can pin it to your quick share menu next thing let us have a look at the volume panel so here it is this is how the volume panel looks like on the plus edition swipe right you can access your google feed here it is no jitters and no lags in the google feed swipe down you can access your quick settings panel and you will see certain icons have the down arrow beside them tap on the down arrow it is going to open more settings for that option and once you're done tap on done back to your quick settings panel you do have android 11 screen recorder which does let you record device audio and microphone at the same time baked into the rom and there it is screen recording has started let us try to access a few applications to see if there is any lag and as you can see there is no lag in the system ui when we are screen recording and once the screen recording is done you can always swipe down and access it and another thing you should notice is you do have your notification history option here on the bottom left and the blur and zoom effect when you access the quick settings panel is working without any issues next up if you try to edit the quick settings panel here it is you do have some extra tiles which are present only in pixel experience plus edition and those do include caffeine heads up live display sync volume panel and vpn next thing we can do is let us go into settings network and internet tap on the wi-fi name tap on it one more time you have the option to disconnect in the center tap on advanced you also have a toggle to allow auto connect on a per wi-fi basis next up we can move over to apps and notification see all apps let us choose any application say chrome going to permissions going to camera three different options for permissions go back and you also have the option to remove permissions if an application is not used for some time and before you ask me what is that duration that duration in android 11 is 60 days then still in the app setting going to mobile data and wi-fi you do have per app network isolation so you can control whether this application can access data over wi-fi mobile background data vpn and you also have a master toggle to enable or disable data access next up let us go into notifications so yes you can enable your notification history and you also have bubbles which work without any issues important thing to note here is that whatsapp does not support android 11 bubbles right now and before i forget priority conversations are also present important thing to note here is that if i go into default apps digital assistant application you can see it is set as google go into settings voice match try to enable it it was enabled but if i go back come back in it gets disabled so okay google keyword is broken on this build with the screen turned on or with the screen turned off as well next up let us go into battery so you do have battery saver along with pixel 5 exclusive extreme battery saver then you can set a schedule for your battery saver to be turned on at a specific percentage or based on your 
protein and you also have a toggle to turn off battery saver when the phone is charged to 90 percent adaptive battery is also present along with a toggle to enable the led light when the device is charging moving over to display you can of course configure your brightness level pro tip here is that when you install the rom for the first time brightness will be a bit wonky and you might think it is broken all you need to do is toggle on and off your adaptive brightness and then you should be good to go then you have a toggle for dark theme along with the option to turn on dark theme at a custom time night light is present live display is also present and in display mode you have something called automatic wherein the device will automatically determine the display mode but if you are outside and bright sun is out then select the outdoor mode and bam you can see how bright my display went i'll change it back to automatic then you can also calibrate your rgbs and in case you mess up reset is always there similarly you can adjust the hue saturation intensity and contrast again reset back to normal without any issues next up you do have styles and wallpapers so these are the themes which are already baked in in case you want to add a custom theme here are the different font options you have then you can also choose among different icons accent colors are also present no rgb accent picker unfortunately and different icon shapes are also present once you decide which one suits your needs give it a custom name tap on apply and then you should be good to go moving over to wallpapers you do have the pixel exclusive wallpapers baked in which do include the women's day curated culture wallpapers and the mandalorian wallpapers along with a few pixel 5 exclusive live wallpapers as well go into grid and you can choose your icon grid so you have default 4x4 3x3 and 2x2 then you can configure your screen timeout rotation settings once you enable the auto rotate toggle you can choose your different angles on a per angle basis so you have 0 90 180 and 270 degrees then you can configure your colors for different options natural boosted saturated and adaptive similarly you can configure your font size as well you can go from anywhere 80 percent to 130 percent whatever you feel like using feel free to do so then you can change the display size screen saver is there go into lock screen you have display media cover art and display music visualizer on the lock screen both these options working without any issues then in case you want to enable aod you have a toggle for that wake the screen for new notifications go into advanced this is where you will have your ambient display once you disable aod you can configure pickup hand wave or pocket mode whichever one you want to enable or disable then you also have double tap anywhere on the screen to wake the device double tap on the status bar or lock screen to turn off the display wake on plug and prevent accidental wake up here it is double tap on the status bar to sleep double tap to wake working without any issues double tap to sleep works absolutely fine aod activated no issues to report and ambient display is present as an explicit option as well in case you want to do that next up we have sound so in sound you can of course change your volumes then you also have a toggle to link and delink the ring and notification volume you can also choose increasing ring volume once you do that you can choose your start volume and the ramp up time tap on advanced and you can also set a ringtone for the second sim separately so both sims can have different ringtones and as you can see i just caught a cat which means the android 11 easter egg cats game is working without any issues and as is bubbles let me dismiss this for now then you have toggles for the different tones option and you also have a toggle to indicate the call status herein once you enable this toggle if you have call waiting the call is connected the call is disconnected your phone is going to vibrate and yes direct sound enhancer is also baked in moving over to security you do have face unlock works without any issues no screen off fod on this build but the fod is good enough and me personally i did not have any missed fingerprints so far so 
everything seems good with respect to the security next up we have system this is where you will find major customizations of pixel experience plus edition for starters you can configure your camera led then front camera sound effects are also present unfortunately you do not have the star war sound effects then you have gestures so here you have system navigation you can choose between three different options for navigation so full screen gestures two button navigation or three button navigation and customization options for each of them let us first check out the customization option for gesture navigation so you do have a toggle to hide the bar at the bottom unfortunately no option to hide the back arrow then you can configure the sensitivity for the left edge and the right edge and you can also configure the edge touch area for two button and three button navigation the customizations are the same so you can have compact layout show arrow keys while typing or invert the layout in case you want to then you also have power menu along with advanced restart so here it is restart bam advanced restart in the building cards and passes is present along with device controls so if you have any smart device then it, the controls will show up here below cat controls and these cat controls are for the android 11 easter egg cat game and you have a toggle to enable or disable sensitive content on the lock screen of course make sure you have set up a pin or password then three finger screenshot is present works without any issues next up we have buttons so we already talked about system navigation we already talked about power menu then you can end the current call by pressing the power button long press for torch and after how many minutes do you want to turn the torch off automatically let us give it a try here it is torch activated press and hold one more time and torch was turned off then you have customization for the volume rockers so you can use the volume buttons to wake your device answer a call control music playback by long pressing the volume keys keyboard cursor control reorient when the screen is rotated and yes you do have partial screenshot once you enable that a press of volume down and power button at the same time here it is partial screenshot once you're happy with it tap on the check mark and bam good to go working without any issues and screen rotation is also working next up we can go into status bar so yes you do have network status monitor three different options disabled status bar and quick settings a toggle to auto hide and the traffic measurement unit which you are looking for then you can configure what all icons you want to see in your status bar double tap to sleep on the status bar we already checked this out configure your clock position right center or left in case you want to show the seconds you have a toggle for that the am pm style normal small or hidden working without any issues then you can configure your battery style so you have three different options icon portrait circle or text in case you are using icon portrait and circle you can choose where you want the battery percentage hidden inside the icon or next to the icon then you have a brightness slider in the quick settings when do you want to see it right now it is shown when the panel is expanded so here it is brightness slider and the automatic brightness button let us change this to say show always and here it is you can see quick settings panel is not expanded but we have the brightness slider and the brightness button then you have brightness control by sliding across the status bar and as you can see on your screen right now works without any issues then you have quick pull down right now this is turned off let us change this to right so if i swipe down from the right the quick settings panel will be expanded swipe from the left it's not going to be expanded and you can also configure the number of quick settings rows and columns you want in portrait mode and in landscape mode other than that we also have rules so this is something which you can use to say turn off your wi-fi or bluetooth automatically let's say you want to turn your wi-fi off and location on as soon as you leave your home so that is something which you can do in rules next thing we can check for is safety net so here it is i do have my disk manager installed but my device is not rooted and as you can see safety net is passing without any issues we can also open the google play store go into settings and 
play protect certification device is certified which means you should be able to use your banking apps without any issues in terms of youtube media playback everything works absolutely fine picture in picture works live caption works of course for picture in picture to work either you need to have youtube premium or you need to be in a specific country in case you do not want to purchase youtube premium as for wide wine well unfortunately i cannot check that out for you because i have wide wine as l3 i think my persist has gone bad i did try restoring it but i couldn't fix it so i won't be able to check hd playback for prime videos i can of course check for google photos and portrait light effect so let me try to edit a picture of my favorite football star may you rest in peace my friend let us try to edit the picture one more time wait for this loading bar to finish go into adjust bam here it is portrait light feature is present and works without any issues in terms of camera we can check application info advanced here it is camera 2 baked in now i'm not sure whether this is snapdragon camera or just a normal camera application then you also have fm radio baked into the rom out of the box next up let us check the app opening animations and as you can see no issues with the app opening animations everything seems pretty smooth recents super fast no issues no jitters and no lags google feed here it is no jitters and no lags in the google feed either next up let us try switching between a few applications so here it is app switching gesture works like a boss no jitters can't get any more smoother and there it is peeps that was our first look at pixel experience plus edition rom the official stable build running on the redmi k20 pro or the xiaomi mi 90 pro and that will do it for this video hope my video helped you likes shares and subscribes are appreciated feedback and comment more than welcome see you when i see you